Hey guys, thank you for tuning into Archeonix. Today we have an MT15 with us and I have installed a KTM gear lever in this bike. Let's see how to install this and this video is totally applicable for all the MT users and also for R15 users. This gear lever is completely adjustable and can be modified as per your taste. This will be an interesting video and by installing this KTM gear lever on your bike it unlocks a next level of gear shifting performance from your bike also i have installed domino mirrors on this mt and if you want a separate video on the same comment down below so without wasting much time let's get started first up we need the ktm gear lever itself the part number and the costing is there in the box you can pause and check it out i purchased this from a nearby ktm spare parts store and opening the box you get a single gear lever itself from ktm as you can see the quality of this gear lever is completely better than what an yamaha offers the reason being this particular one is made of alloy specifically speaking it's completely made of aluminum alloy also what makes it special is the ball bearing inside now apart from this gear lever you also need this rod assembly from ktm itself and as mentioned before the part number and the costing is there on the unit itself This is the unit which allows you to adjust your gear lever as per your requirement. And we'll speak more about this in a moment. And this is for people who are interested to look into the part number and also the costing for this assembly rod. And the last component from KTM is this arm assembly. And this is the costing and the part number for this unit. This is a direct fit for all the MT and R15 users and the insulation I'll be showing in a moment. Now, in order to mount everything together, we need few supplies. This is a 6 mm 2 and a half inch Allen bolt. You can purchase this from any nearby hardware store. As you can see, I am confirming its length using a tape. Now, apart from this Allen bolt, we need few washers, two of a smaller size and few of a bigger size. The smaller one should always be smaller than the bearing that is there on the gear lever. And these are the washers specifically for 6 mm Allen bolts. Now also we need few spacers and in this case I did not find any so I will be using this two nut which acts as a spacer for installing the gear lever here I have two nut which in total acts as one inch spacer for the same however we will not be requiring this one entire inch for this installation we will be needing only one spacer which is enough for half inch spacing now let's pre assemble the gear levers As you can see one good thing KTM have done here is adding some thread lock onto the rod assembly. This will make sure that the rod unit will not come loose due to vibration from your motorcycle. We will not be tightening everything down now. Only after installing the gear lever onto your motorcycle we will do the necessary adjustment and post that we'll be tightening all the nuts and bolts on the lever. This is how the pre-assembled gear lever of KTM looks and you can clearly see the quality of this when in comparison with the Yamaha stock gear lever that has been provided. Now without wasting much time let's actually get to the insulation part. In order to remove your stock gear lever you need to first remove the footrest unit For doing that, we need to remove these two bolts and remove the footrest assembly out. And we need to remove the one bolt holding the footrest unit. Before doing any of that, you need to remove this one 10 mm bolt holding the gear arm to the gear shaft. Let's see how to do it. Using a 10 mm socket onto a ratchet, let's remove the 10 mm bolt holding the gear arm to the gear shaft. After removing the bolt. Chances are that your gear arm is pretty much stuck as you can see here. Now you have to free it up, use a flat head screwdriver to make some gap between the gear arm. And once it is done, you can slide the gear arm out of the gear shaft. Now using a 12 mm socket on an extension and the ratchet, let's remove the 12 mm bolt holding the footrest unit onto the bike. All right, we have removed the 12 mm bolt. Now next, once it is done, you can take a 6 mm Allen key or a Allen socket and remove the Allen bolt that is holding the footrest unit onto the motorcycle.
once the entire footrest holder assembly is out of the motorcycle we need to finally remove one 8 mm allen bolt from the footrest unit in order to separate the stock gear lever but before doing that clean the 8 mm allen key socket in order to avoid any slippage of the allen bolt once it is done use an 8 mm allen socket or a allen key to remove the 8 mm bolt from the footrest unit Once the 8 mm allen bolt is removed, you can separate the footrest holder from the gear lever and the footrest itself. Now, let's separate the gear lever from the footrest unit. You can see how pretty stuck it is and because of this, there will be an adverse effect on the gear shifting smoothness. Now, let's install the footrest back to the footrest holder. There's a washer with a small hole in it on which you need to pass this pin as shown. Once it is done, align the pin to the footrest hole and then tighten the 8 mm bolt back as shown in the video make sure that you tighten the 8 mm bolt as hard as possible in order to avoid loosening it up due to motorcycle vibration now let's install the footrest unit back to the motorcycle using the 12 mm bolt that you removed before hand tighten the bolt onto the motorcycle as shown to not tighten it completely as we will be making minor adjustments later on now let's take the pre assembled gear lever assembly and let's get to installing this onto your motorcycle start by installing the washer which is of smaller size than the outer diameter of the bearing as shown now insert the 6 mm allen bolt that i showed before on this video now we need to install one more small washer on the opposite side of the allen bolt as shown now insert a bigger washer followed by the spacer or the nut in this case insert few more washers for spacing as required now let's install this entire unit onto the other bolt that is left out on the footrest holder assembly as you can see this one is not fitting properly so i'll be removing few washers in order to make some clearance for the bolt to fit in start by hand tightening the allen bolt once the thread is properly inserted use a 6 mm allen key socket to tighten the allen bolt completely make sure that the gear lever is moving freely and there is no stiffness on the gear lever itself while it's moving now let's slide the gear arm onto the gear shaft as shown in the video once the gear arm is installed properly insert the 10 mm bolt that you removed and tighten it using a socket or a ring spanner this completes the installation process now let's adjust the gear lever as per requirement turning this rod on the clockwise direction increase the gear lever height and turning it in the anti clockwise direction decreases the gear lever's height after making the necessary adjustment tighten the lock nut as shown in the video do not forget to tighten the lock nut on the opposite end too Once this is done, tighten the lock nut on the gear arm and also onto the gear rod which is meeting the gear lever. Now finally, tighten the 12 mm bolt which completes the entire installation part. Now you can enjoy the smoother gear shift and also you can shift your motorcycle aggressively. As mentioned earlier, this modification is applicable for all MT users and for R15 users, irrespective of a version and also for FZ users too for similar setup. I hope this video was informative enough. And if you people like this video and found it interesting do consider subscribing to Aquonics and follow me on Instagram for more such interesting content